Welcome back, Dero Doers. At Stealthy Wood, we are constantly looking for ways to improve our efficiency. For this, automation can be a powerful ally. In fact, automating our routine tasks and our procurement process will make us more efficient and ensure a smooth purchase process. To do this, we need to set up reordering rules. These will help us decrease the amount of work related to our purchases. Based on inventory levels, the rules will be triggered when Stealthy Wood reaches the set threshold and a request for quotation will automatically be generated by Odoo. Then buyers simply have to confirm our purchase orders and our inventory workers get control lists of products to receive. Finally, our accountant will compare the recorded bills with the purchase orders and receipts. This way, our inventory management will be streamlined and the time costing administrative tasks will be done automatically by Odoo. So let's dive into Stealthy Woods database and see how these rules can be created. All right, here I am on my database. Let's go directly to purchase. Purchase again, products, and we're gonna go ahead and search for one of our products that we use quite a lot. All right, so we have the desk, camp, uh, desk lamp here, excuse me. And I integrate this product with a lot of uh, other products we offer that we manufacture. Okay, and I also have some customers who buy this as a unique item as well. So I wanna be sure I always have this product on hand no matter what. So I'm gonna create some reordering rules. So I'm gonna click on this button right here, reordering rules, and then go to create. Okay, so I'm gonna go directly down to the rules section and add a minimum quantity and a maximum quantity. So for the minimum quantity, I'm gonna say five. So once I have um, a quantity below five on hand, the reordering rule will be triggered. The maximum quantity will be 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. All right, and then let's go back to our product form. Now we also want to be sure we have a vendor added underneath the purchase tab because Odoo needs to know who to create the RFQ for. So I already have a vendor selected. That looks good. Now we can see that I don't have any on hand, so we need to trigger this rule. So how can we do that? Well, one way is to create a sales order. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, we're gonna go to sales, go to create, choose a customer, and then we're gonna add the product. So our desk lamp, okay, it's gonna say I don't have any on hand, but we know that already, so no problem. Okay, Brandon's gonna buy six of this item. Okay, we're gonna confirm this, and then let's check out our delivery, okay? So we'll be able to see that we can't um, reserve any quantity for this item and that's because we don't have any on hand. Okay, and we see that it's waiting. So it's waiting on another operation. So Odoo should have generated an RFQ automatically. So let's go to our purchase application and see if it worked. All right, I don't see the RFQ. And that's because Odoo does this based on an automatic scheduler that runs once a day. All right, so if you would like that RFQ to be generated right now, in real time, you will need to go to the product form. All right, so let's go to products again. Okay, it was our desk lamp. Then to your reordering rule, and then click on this button, run the scheduler. Okay, once we do that, we'll go back to our purchases and we see that RFQ is automatically generated right here. Okay, we also notice that the quantity is 16. So Odoo is taking the um, sales order that we created into account. So the sales order was for a quantity of six, okay? And if we sell the six, then we will still have our maximum quantity, 10 on hand. All right, so let's go ahead and confirm this and receive the products, okay? Then we're gonna validate, apply. Then we'll go back to the sales order and finish this flow as well. So we're gonna check the availability, validate, apply. All right, looks good. Okay, now if we would like to um, run the scheduler without having to go to the product form, we can always go to inventory. And then we can go to operations, run scheduler here. And this will run the scheduler for all of your products that have reordering rules and automatically generate those RFQs. Okay, so you don't have to wait uh, for that one time of day that the scheduler is run automatically. You can do this yourself right away so that whoever's confirming these RFQs can do it all at one time. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.